a slow start to our day. I think I feel like I say that every day. But um, it is actually super late in the day, and I have not even started vlogging. Um, this is starting to become a habit with me. But I've been in a funk lately. And it's actually almost three o'clock, and Maddie and I slept till twelve o'clock. Um, we were up a lot last night. She had super high fever. Um, she, it was about 103, a little over 103, and um, I gave her some medicine. We were up until about two. Then we slept until six. I got up. I got Gavin ready for school. Maddie got up with me. We were up until about 7.30, and then we went back to bed. So, we've been kind of like up and down, up and down, up and down, and um, we ended up sleeping till about 12. It was, it was about 11.30. We got up, and she, we took some medicine, and um, her fever came down a good bit, but I'm still in my pajamas. Uh huh. Maddie's still in her jammies. I'm very unmotivated today, so I'm trying to change that. What? Okay, you got some. You're gonna make some cake. Okay. What do you want to say? Okay. Okay. markers I got. Oh, medicine has lots of markers. That smell. Do they smell? Yeah. They smell good, don't they? Yes, I know. I'll play them. Okay, just. Okay, we're not gonna do Play-Doh right now because we have to eat some lunch and we have to do some lessons. No, 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 no. Get down, Miss Climber. Get down. It is bolted to the wall, thank goodness, in studs, so it's not gonna fall over, but get down. So, that is my day. I'm in a funk. Yesterday was kind of a rough day. I'm just in a total funk. I need to like shower and snap out of it and get busy. Jacob is doing some school work. Um, I haven't started with Mason yet. We're getting ready to start his reading and we're gonna read some books and do his normal schedule. Nice. I would like to do some artistic stuff with them today just to kind of get out of that routine that we've kind of fallen into and maybe play some games or puzzles or something like that. You know, just do some fun learning activities but also some different fun activities so hopefully that happens today um it's just a late start to the day which means it'll be kind of a late school day awesome it's beautiful hey do you want to show everybody the pictures you drew today oh yeah let's show them oh there they are okay Tell us about them, Mason. Okay, I'm not. Now this one. These. These two. Okay. Here's one. Mmm. A, a monster and a cat. Awesome. Here's a robot. Awesome. Here's a monster and a hero. Ooh, Frankenstein. Hero. Hero, nice. And here's a pumpkin. Pumpkin. That's a beautiful pumpkin. And here's that. Oh, I love that one. Lots of colors. And here's About this. the camera. The last nice. One. Look at that jack o' lantern, y'all. Look how good he is. He did a great job, didn't he? You did most of these today, didn't you? He has been doing oh, lots of art. art. I done four today. Maddie. Why'd you dump out the markers? Hmm? You dumped out all the markers. Didn't you? Ooh, our soccer ball needs air. Right? Yeah. So we went and we looked at some homes yesterday. Um, none of them were anything that we would ever want to put our family in. <laughs> It was kind of crazy because the house that we went to look at that was in this area, I was really excited to see. Um, and when we got in there, it was just like really filthy. The um, landlords had not cleaned the house at all, although they said they, they would, but they live in Atlanta. So they're only here for a short while. So there needs to be like a lot of work done to that first house. So that wasn't gonna work. And then um, 
Yesterday ended up turning into, let me set this camera right here so I can open my drink. Yesterday ended up turning into like a complete <sighs> flop. I call those like flop days because nothing beneficial comes out of them. They're kind of a waste. And <clears throat> it just wasn't a good day. So we're starting over today. Hopefully today will be a better day. Um, Jimmy and I were looking online last night and we found another, actually two other places that we're going to check out. One of them, what happened? Did it drop on your toe? I'm sorry. One of them, actually, um, I really, 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 really like. So I'm really hoping and like crossing my fingers that we'll be able to get into that one. Um, it's in a decent location. It has um, like twice as, twice as much land as we have now. Um, it's a much, much smaller place, but that's what we need for right now. Um, and there is an option to buy. So that is all wonderful. So I'm really excited to see it. It's a much older home. It's, um, <laughs> it's, totally different than the house that we're in right now but like i'm really excited to get into something like that and just switch it up for a couple years and, you know and look at me markers now <laughs> i'll outline them up because the house that you're in is it's just a home you know it's, it's just a house you know your home is your family and your kids and um as long as it's clean, it's decent, you know, and everything has everything that you need to survive, then it doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter how up to date it is. You know, there are some very old features about the house. There's uh, wood paneling. There is um, a super duper old stove, which I actually really like. That's like actually in the cabinetry. It reminds me of my papa's house. Growing up as a kid, it looked just like that. And um, what else? Um, Oh, the kitchen cabinets are, I think it's like cedar wood where it has lots of like the wood grain and stuff in. I don't even know what it's called, but it has those type of cabinets, which are kind of cool to me. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, it has one bathroom. Guys, we have three right now. So going down to one would be like a huge change for us, but not one that we could not deal with. So I'm excited. I'm just excited. Like the whole downsizing, decluttering, purging simplifying our life um simplifying our bills paying off some debt all of that is like a dream of mine right now um we've just felt really overwhelmed so pray for us i'm crossing fingers the lady um did respond to me late last night which was promising because i sent an email about 10 30 maybe even 11 last night and she sent an email back about 1 a.m so I didn't see it until this morning, but I was super excited to see that she had responded so quickly um, and she had said that she's working with the current um, occupants now to get some um, dates and times that she'll be able to show the house. So um, I'm really excited about this place, seeing this place. And then there's another place um, that's um, a little further out than I want it to be, but it's also... Um, in, in the runnings, I guess you would say, for um, potential moves. So, I really like the first place. If that doesn't pan out, then the second place hopefully will. So, it's very, very likely that we could be moving within the next 30 days. Um, it's hard for me to know, so I can't start packing up anything yet. Yeah. I can't start packing the house up because we still have no clue if any of it's going to work out. Um... And then we may end up just staying here. So I don't know. But it's all kind of stressful, exciting, um, stressful, <laughs> and exciting all at the same time. So I don't know. If any of you have ever moved or have ever changed your lifestyle like dramatically, um, you know how kind of exhilarating it can be, yet very stressful. Because at this point, I have not been able to work in like, a solid month and a half almost um, I've worked like a day here and there um, my mom has been in the hospital so that's the reason I haven't been able to work plus my work has really slowed down as far as what's available for me and um, you got your baby and um, my husband's work is kind of like this and 
Now, Maddie's sick, and so I had to find a tutor for tomorrow. So, I'm not going to be able to tutor. It's just been like stressful life events over and over and over and over and over and over. And, over. and any time that you have that much stress, it just... It, it really takes a toll on your marriage and just your overall outlook on life. And I'm trying to really find my joy, in, not in my circumstances, but in the Lord. But it can be tough, you know? The baby needs clothes. All right, let's get her dressed. It can be really tough, so I'm really trying to, like, I'm trying to get a grip, you know? on what's going on and take it day by day by day hour by hour moment by moment um let's see how's that look beautiful yeah yeah maddie loves her babies do you love your babies no, I don't her legs are cold i bet you think her legs are cold Huh? Okay, let's put the baby pants on. Mom. Okay, here we go. You wanna spill all these? Uh-uh-uh. Don't don't fight over the bin. Here. Look! Mama! 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 Wait, She wants her mommy! You're her mommy! You're her mommy! Maddie's doing okay right now. Her fever is still there, but very low grade. So thank the Lord for ibuprofen and, and um, Tylenol. There you go. We're, we're actually alternating. Oh, we're actually alternating Tylenol and ibuprofen every three hours. What, baby? You want to smell you? Are they smelling delicious? Yes. I just smell them. Are you ready to do reading? No, I'm ready to smell them. <laughs> okay, no, I You have marker on your hand? Mmm. Mm. Oh, this one. Is she okay? No, not this one. Is baby oh, sick? Mm -hmm. She's sick too? Yeah, she's yeah. sick. I feel better. Um, I just noticed that Miss Maddie has my keys in her car. And this could be very dangerous. <laughs> Because the last time she had my keys in her car, they disappeared. Mom. Okay, you guys, let's go mom, get started. Mom, I'm gonna get dressed, mom, and we're gonna mom, do Mason's for you leave, smell. Okay. Smell that. What's that even smell like? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Here. Oh, is Danny outside? Yeah. Oh, goody. This is here. So we're having a late lunch. I'm hanging the kids up some. Chef Boyardi real quick because we still have some work to do with for Mason's schooling and Jacob. So they're having some spaghetti and meatballs. Me and Maddie went upstairs and got ready. Maddie, do you want to show everybody your hair? Oh, she put a little clip in her hair. Here, show everybody your hair. Nice. Turn around. Oh, let's show everybody your pretty braids. There's Maddie's pretty braids. And, you and, and your Madison, let me feel your head. Oh, starting to come back up. Right, Mason? Okay, guys, who's ready for a story? I'm good. Room on the broom. Room on the broom. I wonder if there's room on the broom. This is called room, room on the broom. How about you can read some of those words, can't you? Yeah, room on the broom. All right. Ooh. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. Maddie, a braid just like you. You have a braid today, don't you? But you have a cat. Yeah. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. The wind blew off the witch's hat. Look, came right off her head. Oh no, what's she gonna do? I can have that. Oh no, I am a dragon as mean as can be, and witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. 
No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. Wait, just give me that. Let me see. Let me see your hands. Let me finish this. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. All right, Mason is working on his math right now. We're doing we're doing homeschool late today. It's almost six o'clock. I gotta finish. Yeah, you're doing a good job, buddy. Color it neatly now. Are you doing school too? Oh, you're writing all over brother's sounds he wrote just now. <laughs> good job. All right, so we are um, kind of late finishing up our homeschool day today. But that is the beauty of homeschooling. We can finish up kind of late if we have some things going on. So, very nice. Just gave Maddie some more Motrin. Her fever started to spike a little bit more. Um, so hopefully that takes care of it. Good job, Mason. Did you break your crayon? No, I broke it for myself. You did? Yep. So, um, I've got to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. I'm just kidding. I, it broke by itself. It broke by itself. <laughs> and I have made out a meal plan and have not been sticking to it because life has gotten in the way. But hopefully I can get back on track pretty soon. I got to finish up. I do have some it. chicken breast in the, um fridge so we can probably do some type of chicken alfredo or something easy like that. Where is it supposed to go? Count your squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Don't go it don't go into that square. Okay. Mason. Are you on the table? Yeah. Why are you on the table? I don't want to drink. You want to make a drawing? I bet she's going to draw mine. Four. I see it. Well, Mom. Hmm? The pencil. You got pencil? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The card. There you go. You need ten. Well, look. There's your ten right down here. Right? Mm hmm Okay. So color all the squares. Nine. Good job. Let's see if you got them. Yep. You got it. Okay, say the name of the picture. Now say the name that comes at the beginning of... Okay, so what is this? A rocket ship. Yep, it's a rocket. Okay, so what is the sound at the beginning of that? Huh? What's the sound that's at the beginning of that name? Rock. Bojangles tonight. You like it? Clean this up. Come on. Alright, Mason is working on his math. 
working on his math right now. We're doing we're doing homeschool late today. It's almost six o'clock. I gotta finish. Yeah, you're doing a good job, buddy. Color it neatly now.